Okay, we're back here at the Pi Live studio. Um, I'm with John Bolton from Deakin University in Australia. Could you tell us a little bit about yeah what you've just been speaking about? Absolutely. So um, don't be confused with the accent. I'm originally from Bolton, um, so not far from Lancaster actually. Uh, one of our who is our partner, our university partner, and we also have a third party uh, third party provider, Navitas, who will run the operations of our campus. So we've just been really talking about how that partnership's evolved, um, why Indonesia, why Deakin and Lancaster, why Navitas, um, lots of questions, um, and then lots down into the operations as well. But this all started um, three, four years ago um, at a conference actually in Malaysia. Uh, where the two universities got together and started talking about options. Of course, Indi Indonesia is going to be the fourth biggest um, economy by 2045. Um, the demand for uh, what, we, what we deliver and a quality education is high. Um, so we decided to have a dialogue and understand, well, let's actually, let's sort of take a step back, actually. It's before Indonesia, we decided to look together. We, we've got values alignment, we've got um, course alignment. So we actually did screening and market research across the world and we actually landed in Indonesia and actually in the city of Bandung, which is a beautiful city and education city, very much uh, similar to Victoria in Australia where I'm from um, or living. And in terms of, uh, you know, potential pitfalls, I mean, I, I, think, I imagine some other institutions might be interested in, you know, in, in, in conducting a similar sort of operation, I guess. But in terms of pitfalls, what should people look out for? I mean, what, what are some of the specific challenges that need to be overcome in order to set up uh, such a partnership? So anybody who's in t &E will know that, uh, well, I think that complexity and ambiguity is synonymous with t &E, to be honest. It doesn't matter which country you're in, it is complex, um, and you have to really take a long-term uh, long approach to t and &E, not a short-term. Uh, the regulations are uh, complex, so they, they appear relatively straightforward, um, as I've seen in a couple of countries, but once you actually get to the next level, it can be quite complex. Uh, and I guess... The biggest challenge that we have is, um, in which we always have to find internationally, is that third place. So you know, you have what we have as our policies, what you have as your policies, and we have to always find the third place and make sure that we're not compromising on our value proposition, that our students are uh, at front of mind, and that we're not jeopardizing our quality assurance. So I guess the challenge for us will be to make sure we meet the UK, the Australia, and the Indonesia regulator. So that in itself is complex, um, but that did start with the mapping of our courses. Um, and I guess you need to be patient. Um, you need to make sure that you're uh, meeting with key government agencies, but local stakeholders and higher education institutes as well, um, and make sure that you're, you are a good citizen. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah, probably be patience. Perfect, thank you so much. Well, it was fascinating to hear from you, and yeah, I hope you have a brilliant rest of your event.